Ready to create something amazing? Welcome to Sneller Creative Promotions. Custom promotional packaging and unique marketing materials. Making your business memorable. This is Sneller Creative Promotions. Every battle is won before it's ever fought. Hey, it's Sneller, creator of super cool custom promotional packaging and unique marketing materials, ready to bring you Season 3, Episode 2 of Create Something Amazing, the podcast, with our fast pace, something old, something new. So let's get started. So for something old, I'm going to talk about my favorite sales rep I ever had, and that's my mom. We know that everybody that I have ever known has bought for me. Uh, they are either a current or a past customer, and in many cases, my family and friends also act as sales reps for me, including the ultimate sales rep, my mom. So in addition to not only loving what I do and helping every person that I know with my custom promotional packaging and marketing materials, my family and friends oftentimes do act as my best uh, best mouthpiece, best word of mouth, best sales reps, and in this case, my mom went around to every store in northern Michigan, every retail shop, every vacation wear shop, every souvenir shop, every friend that she had up there, and just told them, hey, buy for my son. He does this amazing work with apparel, clothing, logo materials, marketing materials, and you need to buy from him. And I'm quickly going to put up a picture here of some of the really pretty clothing that I did for all of these retail establishments in northern Michigan. So it really kind of it encapsulated everything that I am in life and everything that I'm proud of in life as far as my mom acting as my sales rep, my favorite place on the planet, northern Michigan, and all of these places that I have shopped my entire life from the marina to the coffee shop to the clothing stores. Uh, these people are customers of mine and even to this day, even though this story goes back uh, probably 20 years, many of these customers are still buying for me and so uh, not only does that give me uh, something to be super proud of but when i go in there every summer i get to talk to my customers and look at the merchandise of mine that's on the shelf and of course continue to to work with them back when i'm here in missouri it, nothing makes me happier than when i get to deal with one of my northern michigan customers and for one more historical project again going back many years is something else I'm also proud of. One of the few times, if not the only time, I've actually sold to the government through an advertising agency, of course, and it's my favorite ag, ag-focused ag agency here in St. Louis that I've done all the cool soybean projects for and pork and all kinds of other ag-related businesses. But anyway, there's this project that I did for the USDA. Again, look at YouTube for the pictures. Uh, it was for an annual conference that they were doing, and it was a whole bunch of swag, a custom-printed T-shirt, a pad holder, coffee mugs, uh, cups, you know, cups for them to drink water and soda and pop out of, as well as all kinds of printing, post-it notes and notepads and scratch pads, all kinds of swag with their logo on it. So uh, again, super cool that I actually uh, made a few pennies off the government for a change. And now for something new, I'm going to keep this fast pace going. As we know, many of my customers are marketing firms, PR firms, branding firms, ad agencies, creative types. I love working with my resellers because they give me nationwide reach and a lot of these cool uh, big name companies that we recognize from my website and all my social media posts actually come through these resellers. And one such project, again this goes back a little ways but it's pretty new, was for a company called Workday that needed some mailer boxes and shipping boxes. They needed to be printed in full color but the current trend uh, you know, that I see a lot in boxes is to keep the outside of the box plain and boring, but then have the full inside flooded in, in full color, bleeding off the edges and full color graphics just look beautiful. So uh, it, it accomplishes a couple things. First of all, you're only printing half the box basically, which uh, drastically cuts the cost down on these beautiful full color boxes, but also creates kind of an interesting wow moment where the box arrives just plain white or plain brown on the outside, and then you open it up and voila, inside is boom, full color in your face. So again, check out my pictures on YouTube, but the other interesting thing about, about these boxes, the way we engineered them, these are what we call hinged lid boxes with ears and flaps, uh, kind of a what you th think of as a, as a mailer box, not the boring, ugly boxes that get taped together with flaps. These are boxes that, uh, again, open uh, magically, if you will. But we also added a, a special, almost like a drawbridge feature, a pull-down drawer feature to the front flap 
making these boxes even easier and more interesting to reveal. So this had a, a product inside that was perfectly sized to the shipper box and it was a really snug fit so you almost needed this special uh, thumb notch drawer feature to open up the front flap to make getting this box out easy. And it also creates some interactivity, some motion. Uh, it just feels good and it's more fun when you open the box. So again, check out these boxes from Workday and we'll do one more here very quickly. So our last one here is another swag assortment. So it's funny for a guy who specializes in high-end packaging and believe me, that's where all of my money is made and all of my expertise comes in. I do a surprising amount of logo products, promotional products, swag, simply because it just opens up the whole world as a customer to me, as we've talked about uh, almost too much probably. So anyway, I want to show this swag assortment. It's got some interesting stories here. So first of all, I do some work with the Missouri Lottery. And working there with the Lottery is is interesting because they open up their projects to bid to you've got to be based in the state of Missouri and then you have to win the bid and it's truly based on cost so in most cases I don't even bid on their projects uh, unless it's a real narrow set of circumstances where I've got uh, a slam dunk solution a great vendor where I know I get a great deal and where everything just lines up perfectly to make me want to get the business but in this picture you'll see a cash for life uh, water tumbler that I did for the Missouri Lottery and it was a great project of course everything that I produce they love that's not the issue it's just oftentimes it's, it's solely based on cost there's no room for the Sneller expertise there's no room for relationship it's all based on cost but anyway you'll see a really cool water bottle I did for the Missouri Lottery along with uh, drinkware is huge so uh, a special thermal insulated foam uh, can coolie that I did for a local electrical company and this company called Vision produces um, buys for me all kinds of basically anything with a logo but lots of apparel and drinkware and golf related goodies and clothing I mean you name it lots of stuff for them my favorite coffee company in northern Michigan we've already talked about once in this episode Leelanau coffee the hats that are worn in their by their baristas in their coffee shop so you walk into this place and it's um, you know first of all their coffee uh, brewers, they produce the coffee, they roast the coffee. I guess bro roasters are what you want to call it. They roast the coffee, and their beans are just absolutely incredible. Truly the best on the planet. But anyway, they've got this really cool um, coffee shop, too. So anyway, all the employees wear my Leelanau coffee hats, and on the back it says Coffee Crew. On the front, it's embroidered with their logo in a really pretty blue. And then finally, there's a coffee cup shown here from the American Marketing Association. So also something I'm really proud of is every association that I'm a member of, and there's lots of them, anybody that touches marketing, branding, ad agencies, creative types, graphic designers, I have been and currently am a member of almost all of these things. Anyway, and they all buy for me. So there's this was for a virtual conference. Again, going back to the COVID days when all of these organizations still wanted to be in touch with their with their clientele but they couldn't do it face to face so they sent out a swag box and inside of the swag box was a coffee mug that i produced for them from the american marketing association and anyway keeping with our fast pace that is the end of season three episode two of create something amazing by sneller jeff snell jeffrey t snell are you ready to create something amazing Check me out, jeff at snellercreative.com, snellercreative.com, or for promotional products, snellercreativepromotions.com. Money never sleeps, pal. Thank you for listening to Create Something Amazing, a Sneller Creative podcast. For more episodes, remember to like, share, and subscribe.